Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from SeeMyCampsite.com. My name is Adam Groves and today we're exploring Wasatch Mountain State Park in Utah. Part of a series of videos we've been creating that cover various campgrounds in the Wasatch Back. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Utah and you're asking yourself, what's the Wasatch Back? Well, if you've heard of Salt Lake City, Ogden, or Provo, these cities all reside on the western side of the famous Wasatch Mountains, an area known as the Wasatch Front. But what you may not be too familiar with is an area on the opposite side of that same mountain range, commonly known as the Wasatch Back. This eastern side of the Wasatch features some gorgeous terrain and includes picturesque towns such as Heber City, Midway, and the always popular Park City. People from all over the globe come to enjoy the outdoors in this area with world-famous ski resorts, hiking, mountain biking, fishing, horseback riding, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, snowmobiling, and if you happen to visit in January, you can find celebrities in Park City visiting the world-renowned Sundance Film Festival. And Soldier Hollow, located at the park's south end, was also one of the venues for the 2002 Winter Olympics. Wasatch Mountain State Park is officially located in the city of Midway at an elevation of about 5,900 feet. This state park has a lot to offer if you love the outdoors. And in addition to the summer and winter recreational options we mentioned earlier, this state park also offers two 36-hole golf courses, Soldier Hollow Golf Course and Wasatch Mountain Golf Course. We recently released a video on our YouTube channel showing footage of every single hole at Soldier Hollow, and you can find a link to that in the description below. What's really great about these golf courses is even if you're terrible at golf like me, you'll have a great time anyways simply due to the picturesque surroundings you'll find yourselves in. Another unique offering at Wasatch Mountain State Park in the winter is a large sledding hill where friends and family can tube down 1,200 foot sliding lanes, some of the largest in the state. Tickets include tube rentals as well as a lift service to take you up that hill. All right, let's talk camping. But first, as always, if you find this content helpful, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel as that will help us to create more videos like this for you in the future. In today's video, we're going to cover five different campgrounds at Wasatch Mountain State Park. Mahogany Campground, offering 33 full hookup sites. Cottonwood Campground, offering 47 sites with a blend of full hookups and partial hookups. Oak Hollow Campground, offering 40 campsites with partial hookups. Little Deer Creek Campground, offering 18 sites in a more remote area. And finally, Soldier Hollow Campground, a new campground offering 18 sites with full hookup capabilities. As always, we're not going to just tell you what to expect from each of these campgrounds. We're also going to show you each individual campsite so you can find that perfect spot that will work best for you. Also note that some of these campgrounds we filmed in the off season so we can show you as many campsites as we can without anybody occupying them. So if you're wondering why some of the trees have no leaves or color on them, that's why. Anyways, with all that said, I'm ready to go if you are. Let's do it. All right, first stop in today's video is Mahogany Campground, otherwise known as the Mahogany Loop that is located within the Pine Creek Campground. Mahogany offers 33 full hookup sites that can accommodate both RVs and tent campers. Some of the amenities here include picnic tables, restrooms with flush toilets, hot showers, barbecue grills, drinking water, a dump station, and an amphitheater. Let's dive in and take a look at each of these campsites.
Next up is Cottonwood Campground. Cottonwood offers 47 sites, most of which are full hookups, but some with just electricity and water, two cabins, and two group pavilions. Here you'll find picnic tables, restrooms with flush toilets, hot showers, fire pits, drinking water, an amphitheater, visitor center, and a dump station. Let's show you footage we captured of each campsite so you can find that perfect spot for you.
Up next is Oak Hollow Campground. Oak Hollow offers 40 campsites that are primarily geared toward tent campers, but can accommodate smaller rigs in certain campsites as well. The sites here are partial hookup sites with most featuring electricity and water. Like the other campgrounds, amenities here include picnic tables, restrooms with flush toilets, fire rings, barbecue grills, drinking water, and a dump station nearby. Let's jump into those individual campsites right now to help you find what will work best for you.
Our next campground is Little Deer Creek. This campground is a little off the beaten path from the other campgrounds and is accessible via a dirt road. So if you like a little more primitive style camping away from the crowds, this might work good for you. Little Deer Creek offers 18 sites that should work nicely for tents and small trailers with potable water, picnic tables, fire rings, barbecue grills, OHV trails, and a self-reservation system upon arrival. Curious what these sites look like? Let's dive in and show you what to expect. Our last campground in today's video is Soldier Hollow Campground, and this was more recently established and offers 18 full hookup sites, one of which is a cottage that you can book, and also offers a large group pavilion site that you can reserve. Expect the same amenities here, such as picnic tables, fire rings, flush bathrooms, and hot showers. Because this is a newer campground, you won't find as many mature trees but most of the picnic tables here are covered, which should offer some good shade from the sun. Let's show you what to expect from each of these campsites.
Finally, we looked into cell service coverage here and Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile each appear to have good coverage according to their service maps, so you should be good to go there. We'll include links in the description section below with information on how to reserve these sites. With all that said, we hope you enjoyed this tour and review of Wasatch Mountain State Park. If you're looking to disconnect and get out into nature, you won't go wrong by choosing this gorgeous destination. Comment below on campgrounds you'd like for us to cover next, and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing content like this to you in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next video from seemycampsite.com.